Good afternoon. This is Jesse Cannon Wallace, aka Ben's Blogger, and I seem to have won the lottery. I have two 2021 Mercedes AMG G63s in Arabian Gray. Two. The one on the right uh, is a custom order for a client. Uh, we waited about two years for this beauty to come in. The one on the left is actually a Mercedes Benz USA press car. It has been going out to ga golf tournaments every week, uh, but in between it has been parked here, so I've had the opportunity to take a look at that one as well. These cars are incredibly similar and completely different. So just glancing at them, you can see the one on the right, again Arabian Gray, has the night package and the red painted brake calipers. The one on the left has the off-road trail package, no night package, and silver calipers. So it really gives them a different look. I know they almost look different colors because of the lighting, uh, but they are the same. Arabian Gray is a Designio Manufacturer color, which means it is a classic color from the Mercedes-Benz vault that they have been making available uh, on certain models. The CLS had one, and then the G-Wagon has them available currently. Aren't they amazing? So the odds of having two here at the same time are zero. So I thought I would take this opportunity to look at them side by side and see if you can see all the differences. So if you look at the front of the MBUSA car, notice the silver push bar. The mirror housings are Arabian gray. As opposed to the night package car, which has black mirror housings and the black push bar. So just a really different look between them. And then wheels wise, uh, my custom order here has the 22 inch cross spoke wheels in black with the red painted calipers. And then the trail package car has a unique 20 inch twin spoke that you can only get with that package. I actually think it's a great look. I don't know how many G-Wagons will ever actually hit the trails, uh, but I think it really gives it a rugged appearance, don't you? All right, the inside is where these two cars are gonna be incredibly different. My customer selected the platinum white leather with black A-band and white stitching, along with the piano lacquer wood trim, which is absolutely gorgeous. Just gives it a really elegant, luxurious look. And then the MBUSA car is titanium gray pearl and black leather with the carbon fiber trim. I am going to say that carbon fiber steering wheel is dead hot. So, a great look as well. I love, can you see the contrast there? The pearl gray is not just black. It really does have almost a luster to it. Um, we've had this in convertibles before and it looks amazing in the sun. All right, so like I said, strangely, these cars are very similar, but very different. Take a look at the window stickers here. Take that to focus. They are, this, this is the MBUSA car. This one is, pardon me, this one is my custom order car. This one is 180 smooth. This is the MBUSA car, it's 181. So even though they have completely different equipment, they are priced almost exactly the same. So just a weird coincidence. Again, the odds of having two. Who could guess? All right, so from the back. Hi. Again, this is not a night package car. So you can see all the silver accents on the tail. The um, wheel surround is chrome. The bumper inserts are chrome. And then the trail package also gives it these mud flaps. You don't see that a lot outside of Europe, right? That is one of those things people are always asking to add, and it is not actually super easy to do. There is some work required, but it comes with the trail package. Okay, and then if we flip over to the night package car here, you can see the black inserts on the bumper and the black surround around the wheel. Just kind of gives it a different attitude. Let's see how the colors look from back here. I've got some sun, I've got some shade. Whoop, I've got a speed bump, not gonna fall down. So I'm not saying there is a bad look here. Both of them are great, just a little bit different. And you can see what ordering different packages and options does 
to change the look of your car. That porcelain for me though was well worth the wait. The black A-band there just really adds some dimension, looks sporty. The diamond stitching is fantastic. So how it's going with G-Wagons right now is we take orders from our clients. So you tell me you want a G63. I will take a deposit and you go on the list. And then we wait. You're essentially in line for the next time an open build slot shows up. So right now, I think we have close to 40 people waiting for a build slot, which could be a couple years. You just stay on the list in order until your opening comes. If a car comes available sooner, we offer it to you. Um, oops, my floor mat is crooked. If not, we just wait until your build slot comes available and you get to custom order. So a lot of my G63 owners will order their next one when this one arrives so that when their lease is up in three years, roughly, they'll have a new one on the way and won't have to wait as long. So A, Arabian Gray. We can all agree that's a great G-Wagon color, right? And then B, are you a night package or a non-night package when it comes to Arabian Gray? I can go either way. I think both of these cars are a great look. And then the trail package has been super rare, so it's nice to be able to see that in person. Uh, we don't know what Mercedes-Benz USA will be doing with this press car when they're done with it. Hopefully they'll really need someone to sell it for them and it will come available at my dealership, but I don't know that. Uh, meanwhile, the client on the one on the right with the night package will be picking up Monday, so I have a limited time to show you the car. Hopefully you've gotten to take a great look with me. Notice the exhaust tips on the G63 come out under the rear passenger door. That is very unusual. Very few cars have that feature. All right, so if you are interested in a G-Wagon, you need to plan ahead. You may be able to find a pre-owned one or a used one uh, at a higher price, but ideally you will custom order your beautiful car and have the patience to wait, hopefully. I really just love the look of them together. So combined, 180 and 180, this is $360,000 worth of G63s that we're looking at right here. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this is Jesse Cannon Wallace, AKA Ben's Blogger. If you're in the Atlanta area, I would love to help you out with your Mercedes Benz needs. Uh, I am with Mercedes Benz of Atlanta Northeast in Duluth, Georgia. My contact info is below. Thanks so much for watching.